this is Debbie with the Food Prepping Channel. And today I've got something to show y'all. It's time. I, I mean, I've, it is really time that I show y'all what's been going on. Um, well, first off, right here, I have got these. It's called um, Barbecue Seasoned Dry Rubbed Chicken Leg Quarters. And I get these at Walmart. I love them, but I'm doing a little bit a little bit um, something different with them today. It's four of them. I have put, besides the barbecue season that's on them, I have put Weber's Kicking Chicken Seasoning. I have had this for two years now, and I really like it. But y'all know I really don't like chicken so much, unless it's like this. And then I've got this smoke-infused smoke hickory and honey sea salt this is a rub too but i really it smells really good so i went on and put some on both of them and i'm gonna cook these right now i've got rice going in my instant pot it's um coming it's coming up now so it's not going to take it very much longer but i want to show y'all what's been going on for the past two years, I've had a lot going on in my life, and I haven't spent as much time with my YouTube channel as I should have, and I feel bad about that, and that's going to end this year. One way or the other, it's going to end this year. I've just had some personal things going on in my life and I get my grandchildren two of my grandchildren now on Fridays and keep them until Saturday night and that's been going on since November and then of course you know that my cat died Christmas Eve and that really just kind of knocked me for a loop but I've just had a lot going on, and I have been, I want y'all to look up there. Let's see if I can get you up there. All right, there's boxes of stuff that I've got that I haven't opened, but now, wait, let me make sure this is zoomed out. Okay, let me scoot over here and see this, show you this. All right, this is the Power XL Vortex Air Fryer. I have not really air fried anything, so I got this, I don't know, six months or so ago, and it's not been opened or taken out of the box. All right, let me put you down some more. Now, I don't know if I can get this box below that. Do you see that? Can you see that? That is the Ninja foodie grill i've had that for a while now it hasn't been taken out of the box now i'm going to bring y'all back because i've got to move this stuff because what's behind this is is really shocking me and it's probably going to shock you too so i will bring you right back okay here it is y'all this is my Ninja Foodie. I have had this since last August and just took it out of the box two or three weeks ago. I can't remember now how long it's been, but it's, I um, decided that I really needed to use it. I've been very um, scared of it, I guess. Um, what is the word in, um, I don't know, I can't think of the word, but I'm just going to have to use it. So I'm making the first thing that I can think of in here, and I've got this chicken that I'm going to put in here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to have to get a another um, tripod for my camera because my camera won't go down. I, I got a little table for this so I could show y'all, and I didn't realize that the tripod didn't go down. So what I'm going to do in this, in my Ninja Foodie, I'm using the, all right, I've got to get both the tops. I'm going to use the pressure cooker part of this, and I'm going to use the air crisp part of this. The first thing that I'm going to do, though, is I'm putting two cups of water in here. 
I'm going to move y'all over so you can see down in it. And then I'm going to put this little um, shelf thing in here. I'm going to put it down in here and it may, this is the 8 quart Ninja Foodie. And I don't know why I've been so scared of it, intimidated up by it. That's what it is, the word. I couldn't think of the word. All right, so I've got these four thighs, and hopefully I'm going to be able to get all of them on here. I don't know. This is awful little for these four thighs, but we're going to try it. All right, and there goes my Instant Pot with the rice. It's... um coming it's stopped now all right I don't know how to I'm just gonna have to put these on here and try to get all four of them on here and not worry about how they're laying all right so like I said I've got the four thighs in here this I mean chicken leg quarters that's what this is and I've got them seasoned I'm going to put the the um, pressure cook top on there you've got to line up these two and then close it I need to make sure that it's on sealing not venting and I'm going to Turn it on. I'm going to go to pressure. I'm going, doesn't have a high. All right, so I'm going to go 10 minutes on this, which is what it's set on. And then I'm just going to push start. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I've been, I felt so intimidated by it. And it's just been sitting back there, what is it, eight months now? Um, I've got so much stuff that I get and haven't used. I, like, there's the, the grill, the Ninja Foodie grill, the air fryer, the Power XL air fryer. I've never used the air fryer. Um, I gave my daughter, Christy, the little one that I had. So I went on and bought the big one, and I never have used it. Okay, so this is going, it's going to count down, the Ninja Foodie is going to count down, and when it gets to the end, I will bring y'all back and show you what I'm going to do with it, so I'll bring you back. Okay, y'all, you can see that it's um, on 552, it's going down, it is, it definitely came right up to pressure. I'm really excited about it. It's pretty much like my Instant Pot. Now my Instant Pot, the rice came up, and I wanna show y'all what my grandma used to feed me. It was, um, this is rice with butter, milk, and sugar. We didn't put um, things like salt and pepper or in rice or grits. Grits was always the same thing, butter, um, sugar, and milk. And so here's the rice. But I had my stomach stapled in 1998, and it didn't work as far as me losing weight, but it is still stapled, and there's four things that will catch in between my throat in my um, stomach, and that is rice, chicken breast, um, doughy bread, such as rolls when you go out to eat or whatever, and um, spaghetti. So anytime I eat this stuff, I have to be real careful, and I was so excited to get this today because it's been so long since I've had this rice or whatever that... I started eating it too fast, and now it's caught in between my throat and my stomach, and I'm just having to sit here or whatever and wait till it goes down and hope that I don't have to throw it up. But I did want to show y'all that this is really, to me, 
one of the one of the memories from my childhood that my grandma I was telling Ashley my grandma would on the weekends would make eggs bacon rice and toast and she always fixed my rice like this with butter milk and sugar in it so but anyway it's three minutes and 30 seconds left on the um ninja foodie and i will bring you back okay y'all the chicken is done i let the pressure off and now we're gonna check the temp on this and see what it is Chicken is supposed to be 165, so this is not done. So let's see this one. That one is. That's 172. All right, let's see how. Now well, this is going to be upside down but let's see here well this is so I must have put it in wrong or had it going the wrong way or something because let's see 165 that's 172 so let's check this one that's 175 it just keeps on going up so these are all done all right so what i've got to do now is i've got to take these out i'm going to brown these that's the point of the ninja foodie is you can cook your food and brown them so i'm going to put first off i'm going to spray this pan with avocado pam avocado oil let's see there it is this is pam avocado oil and avocado oil has a very high smoke point so i went on and got that for the pam all right and i'm spraying this pan y'all can see and then i'm gonna take my tongs i'm gonna put a plate a paper plate under this and now all my stuff is falling because I've got to take the chicken out and I'm probably going to do two pieces at a time because I do want this to get crispy. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to, let me get this piece out here. Well, All right, so you can see the two pieces fill it up. So what I've got to do is I've got to get these other two pieces out, um, put them on a plate, pour the water out in here, and then I'm going to put the crisper uh, pot back in here, and I'll bring you back at that point. Okay, y'all, here is, it's been five minutes, and um, that's not... Let me check this with the tongs and see. Yeah, no, that's not even started to be crispy enough. I want this really crispy. All right, I'll bring y'all back. It's going to go five more minutes. Okay, y'all, it's been uh, 10 minutes, and it's still not as crispy as I'd like it to be, but parts of it are getting crispy. I don't know. Um, I'm going to get these two out and see how crispy they are and put the other two in and I'll bring y'all back and I'll let you know how crispy these two are okay y'all um it is not very crispy but it may be that because I pressure cooked this that that's why it's not very crispy but I do want to taste this this is a, the I cut a piece off right here Mm. Give Ashley hers. 
don't know why. I wanted the skim on here to be really crispy. You know what I do taste though? Is garlic. I guess garlic, I'm just gonna have to somehow like this, <laughs> like it, but I really don't. It is, it does have a good taste to it. It really does. But you can see it's not crispy at all. And that was at 10 minutes. Whoa. I just, I just um, cut a piece all the way over. My dog's gonna like that piece. <laughs> But it, it it did. I'm gonna go on. I want to check the temperature on this. All right, this is in the leg. Well, I don't know. It's been out for a while and it's 162. So I know that, yep, it's going down. So I know that it probably was that. Let me see if I can get down in here. Yeah, it's going down. So it was up to, it was up to um, temp. I know it was. It just, um, I just couldn't get it crispy. But I'm sure as I work with this and learn more about the Ninja Foodie that it's going to work out well. And I do have the Ninja Foodie grill and I'll be able to use that. And I'm going to be showing y'all a lot of things um, this year. And I'm going to be around more. I do have videos that were from the end of 2019 that I've still got to put on there. But this is my newest. Today is February the 6th. This, this is my newest one. I will be putting this on tomorrow, the 7th. And then from there on out, I should be hopefully at least every other day putting a video on for y'all and cooking because I'm excited about using all the things. There's just so many more things that I have over there. I've got a deep fryer that has never been taken out of the box. I've got the Ninja, um, it makes smoothies. I can't even think of what it is. The Ninja, uh, whatever it is, that's never been taken out of a box. I got stuff last year and I just had such a rough year with um, things that are going on in my life that I haven't put a lot of energy into my YouTube channel. And I love y'all. I love every one of y'all that's behind me, that stand behind me. And I think of you all the time. It's just that, it's like I said, it's been really hard. And I don't know a lot about editing software so I only use Movie Maker and I wish I did. I, I've got Filmora. I've got the whole program and I cannot figure out how to use it. I wish I could find someone that could teach me this but I put it on my Facebook and I never could find anyone so um, but anyway I'm going to get out of here. This, is, this was definitely a good um, this is definitely a good piece of chicken. I do wish that I could have gotten it crispier, but I couldn't. <laughs> so I will talk to you later. If okay, y'all, I had to bring you back and show you. Um, this was left in there for 15 minutes, and yes, it is crispy. Look at let me get the knife right here so I can show you. I ate the other piece, and now look at this. Look at how crispy that is. And that's what it was. I just didn't leave it in there long enough.
You hear it? Mm. Mm Mm-mm. Okay. Now we've got it. (laughs) I um, didn't leave it in there long enough to get it crunchy, crispy, whatever you want to say. But I thought it was going to be the ninja foodie, and it was me. I just didn't leave it in there long enough, and I can get it crispy. And this is amazing. Mm, mm -mm, Look at that. Mm. Oh, my goodness. I love the look. So crispy. Mm, mm -mm. Good thing it's chicken it and for nobody but me. Mm. Mm. All right, y'all. That was the problem. I didn't leave it in there long enough. Now we know that the ninja, the ninja foodie really does work. And I was the one that was making the mistake of not leaving it in there. So, I hope you like this video. If you do, give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel. Um, also, share it with your friends, your family. Look below for links to my Facebook, my Twitter, my Instagram. And also, there'll be links below to different things that I use in my kitchen that you may not see all the time, but it's still in my kitchen. And I hope you have a good day. I'll talk to you later. Bye.